In this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can send an entire folder full of files to someone through an email. Unfortunately, if you just click attach and try to attach the folder like you would normally do with an individual file, it's not going to let you attach the entire folder. If you click on the folder, it'll just open the folder and you'll have to select files inside the folder. But don't worry, there is actually a way you can get around this and send the entire folder via email. To attach an entire folder to an email, you'll need to compress it into a zip file first. Then you'll be able to attach the zip file to the email because a zip file is treated as a single file rather than a folder. And then when your recipient receives the zip file, they'll be able to extract the folder out of it to get the folder out and then they'll have your entire folder with all the files inside it and everything, just like it was when it was on your computer. Unfortunately, the steps to zip up a folder are different for each operating system. So Timmy's going to show you how to do it on a Chromebook first, but if you use a Mac or Windows computer, you can skip to one of the timestamps on the screen right now to see how it's done on your computer. But to start with, if you're using a Chromebook, you'll need to open up the Files app. So you might need to click on the App Launcher to find it, or it might be down here. And then you'll be in the Files app. And in the Files app, you'll need to find the folder that you want to email. So Timmy has this folder here named Folder to be Emailed. And if we go inside it, we can see there's a whole lot of files in there. And there's even a folder inside that with files in there. So it's a folder with lots of files inside it. And now, once you've found the folder you want to email, what you'll need to do is right click on the folder. So hover your mouse over the folder like that, and then either press the right click button on a mouse or use a two finger click on a trackpad, and that will do the same thing. And then in this menu that appears, just come down here and click zip selection. And this might take quite a while if you have a lot of files or if your Chromebook's a bit slow, but it'll zip all the files in the folder up into one zip file. And then once it's finished, you'll have this zip file here. And it'll have the same name as the folder, but it'll say .zip on the end of it. So you'll still have this folder here and all the files will still be there. So you can keep that if you want and you have the folder with all the files in it, or if you don't want it anymore, you can delete it. But all of these files will have been copied into the zip file here. And now you're ready to go ahead and attach the zip file to the email and send it off to your recipient. Or if you're using a Windows computer, you'll just need to open up the File Explorer app here, and then you'll need to find the folder you want to send so Timmy has this folder here with these files and even this folder inside it. And Timmy wants to send this entire folder via email. And then you'll need to right click on the folder you want to send. So you'll hover your mouse over it and you can use the right click button on a mouse or you can use a two finger click on a trackpad to do the same thing and then in this menu that appears, it's a little bit different depending on if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11. This is Windows 11, so you'll come down and click Compress to Zip File. But if you're on Windows 10, you'll hover over Send To, and then you'll click on Compressed Zipped File, but it's basically the same thing. So we'll click Compress to Zip File here. And now it will compress that folder into a zip file. And if you had a really large folder or a slower computer or something, it might take a while and you might have to watch a progress bar for a little while until it's finished zipping up all those files inside the folder. But in this case, it's already finished that. And as we can see now, we have this zip file here with the same name as the folder, but it's highlighted like this here. So if you wanted to name the zip file something else, you could just start typing a different name. But 
to me is actually happy with that name because it's the same name as the folder, so that really makes sense. So to me, we'll just press enter on the keyboard to save that name. And now we have this zip file containing this folder and all the files inside it. So now you're ready to go ahead and attach this zip file to your email. And if you're using an Apple Mac, you'll need to open up the Finder app here and you'll need to find the folder you want to email. So Timmy wants to email this folder here that's named folder to be emailed with all of these files and even this folder inside it. So Timmy wants to email all of that. And then you'll need to right click on the folder. So right click on the right click button on a mouse or you can use a two finger click on a trackpad. And then in this menu that appears, come down to compress folder to be emailed. That's what Timmy's is called, but the name of your folder would be here. And then, so you'll just click that. And now it'll compress your folder into a zip file. And Timmy has a very high end Mac and it's, so it's done it very quickly and it wasn't very many files. If you had a larger zip file or a slightly lower end Mac, it might take quite a while for this to finish. But as we can see, it's already finished there. So now we have this zip file here with the same name as the folder. And this folder and all the files inside it are inside this zip folder here. You still have the folder on your computer outside of the zip file because it's really just copied the folder and all its files into the zip file. So you can keep it on your computer if you want, or you can delete it if you really don't want it anymore. But now you have this zip file here that's ready to be attached to your email and sent off to your recipient. And so now, regardless of what computer you're using, you should have a zip file containing your folder and all the files inside it. And now you're ready to go ahead and attach it to your email. So it doesn't matter what email app you're using, Timmy's going to use the Gmail website because that's what Timmy prefers to use. But as long as you know how to use your email app, you should know how you can attach a file in your email app. But you just go ahead and start composing your email. You put the to, the subject, the message body and everything. And then you'll go ahead and click the attach files button, wherever that is in your email app. And now it will pull up this files window from your computer and you'll just need to find your zip file. So it should be next to your folder somewhere there. So we've found it here, folder to be emailed.zip. And then we'll just double click on that file. And now it will attach this zip file to the email containing the entire folder and all the files inside it. But one more thing before you go ahead and click send is your recipient might not know how to open a zip file and extract the files from it. So in the video description of this video, Timmy's actually put links to different tutorials for how you can open a zip file on a Windows computer and a Mac and a Chromebook. So you might wanna go to this description and copy all of those links and then come into your email and add them somewhere in here. So you can paste all these links in here. And now when your recipient gets this email, they can choose which video to watch based on what computer they have, and then they'll know how they can extract the zip file on their computer. But now that you've taken care of that, if you think you needed to add those links in there, you can just go ahead and click send and send your email off, and it will send the entire folder with inside the zip file with all of those files to your recipient. And normally this works really well. But most email providers don't let you send files larger than 20 or sometimes 25 megabytes. So if your folder is too large, meaning your zip file will end up being too large, depending on the email app you use, you might get this warning message as soon as you try to attach it, or you might get an error when you try to send the email, or it might even let you try to send it 
but then a minute or two later, you'll get an email that bounces back saying the message couldn't be sent because the file you attached was too large. And either way, if something like that happens, that means the zip file is too large to be sent as an attachment in an email. And if this happens, your best option will basically be to send the file using a cloud storage service like Google Drive. You can use any cloud storage service you want. If you prefer OneDrive or Dropbox or something like that, that'll work just fine. But to me, I would recommend using Google Drive. Google Drive even lets you upload an entire folder. So you might not even need to compress it into a zip file at all. You could just upload the whole folder. And you can also use a feature called link sharing. So if you really wanted to send the folder in an email, you can copy a link to the folder on Google Drive and then paste that link into the email. And then your recipient can click on that link to access it. But this video is already getting quite long. So if you want to see how to do that, Timmy has a separate video here that shows you in detail how you can use Google Drive to send large files. So if you need to do that and you want to see in more detail how it's done, Timmy would highly recommend you click on this button here and go and watch that video. But that's the end of this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and Timmy will see you in the next one.